Hi there, and welcome to this video introducing you to the PyChart plugin for Unreal Engine 4 developed by Erizos. So inside Unreal, uh, in the Actors panel here, I'm going to search for PyChart. And there we go, found it. I'm going to click and drag it into our level. So right now, our PyChart doesn't render anything because we haven't defined what it should do yet. Uh, and we're going to do that right now. So just before we do that, notice in the world outliner that our pie chart actor doesn't have any children. Now, in the element, uh, the elements property of the pie chart, I'm going to set this to two. And you can now see that the plugin uh, creates two children, two pie segment children for us under the pie chart uh, actor. Let's go ahead and increase this to three. And now we have three segments that we can work with. I'm going to go ahead uh, and set the data mode to percent because I want to work in percentage. And I'm going to select the first segment to work with. Right now, the value is set to 100. Uh, so it's going to take up 100% of our pie chart. Let's go ahead and set this to uh, 50. And you can slightly notice that the bounding box of this segment has changed over here. So we can sort of see that it's taking up 50%. But to make it a bit easier to see, I'm going to go ahead and drag a material onto the front material property over here. Okay, so now we can clearly see that this segment is taking up 50% of the total of the pie. If we were to set it to 25%, you can see that it changes. And let's go ahead and set it back to 50. Let's go ahead and do something similar for the other segments. So I'll select, select segment 2. Uh, I'm going to set this value to 25 and I'm going to drag the red material on there. And the segment three, let's set that value also to 25. And we'll put the blue value there so we can, the blue material, so we can easily see what's happening. Okay, so now we have the beginnings of a pie chart. Um, let's go back to segment one and let's just change this value to uh, say 25 as well and let's see what happens. So there you go. You can see that the other um, segments of the pie chart move based on the values, okay? So uh, our starting point is over here, and we can change this. If we go to the main actor, uh, the pie chart actor, the parent, and we'll just set the start value. Let's increase this a bit. Oh. So you can see that it's moving. Let's set this to 25. So it can it's changing where the start um, point of the pie chart is. And based off that, it renders the segments based on their value. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this back to zero. And I'm going to set my segment one uh, back to 50%. 50, 50%. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's that's a really quickly and quick and easy way to create a pie chart. But we can take this even further. And I'm going to start by showing you how we can add labels to each of our sections. So inside the actors over here, I'm going to find a text element. So I'm going to let's search for... I'm going to use the text 3D for my labels. And let's put it in here. So let's call this, um, I don't know, let's call these apples. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this label is I'm going to open up the first segment. And we have a labels child here. And I'm just going to drag that into the labels. Okay. And now what I can do is I can just move this and position it nicely over that first segment. So let's just do something like this. Okay, maybe what I can also do is uh, scale this down a bit. So let's set this to 0 0.5. Yeah, that looks much better. And I'm going to quickly go ahead and add labels for my other uh, objects as well. So let's call these, these apples. We have grapes. Let's call this grapes. And I'm going to put this onto the segment 2 under the labels. And the last one. So let's just go ahead and quickly position this. Let's scale it down as well so it's uniformed. And our last, oh, I want the 3D text. Let's go ahead and drag that one here. Apples, grapes, and pears. Don't know if I spelled that correctly, but you get the idea. Segment three, let's drag that in there, uh, throw that in there, and let's go ahead and position that roughly where the pairs are and scale it down as well. Okay, so now we have these labels. Um, and what's really cool, if we go back to our first segment and we start changing the value here, so I'm going to set it to something like 30. 
So you can actually see that the labels move depending on the value. And you see, I'm, I'm changing the values here and the, and the labels are moving accordingly. So that's a really easy way for us to be able to add labels. So right now they sit pretty far off uh, the, uh, from where the pie chart is, which is great, but we can also change that. Say we want it to be closer to the pie chart. Uh, under the pie, uh, pie segment uh, property, we have these children offset and it's currently set to 20. If we start moving that, let's say we bring it closer to zero, it's gonna sit really on the uh, element itself. And I can go to segment two and change this as well. So it's just bringing it in closer to, to where we are. Okay, so that's how we can quickly add labels uh, and you can texturize these and do, do what you want with them, uh, up to you completely. So let's add our value back here to 50. Okay, so we just spoke about labels and how we can easily add them to our pie chart. Uh, let's talk a bit about the design tools or the options that we have on uh, these pie segments. So what we can do is, uh, let's select the first one. And we have these, um, the, under the primitive section, we have the radius and we have the hole. So if we set this, for example, to 50, let's bring it up even more. Oh, sorry, but too much. Let's make it 75. All right, we can now create the sort of hole inside our pie chart and everything still works the same. So if we change back the value, something like that, you see it's uh, renders correctly. Um, let's set back to 50 and we can do this for the other segments as well. Um, let me just remember what the value was that I set. So the hole is 75. Let's go ahead and set that over here as well. And the hole in this one, we'll also set that to the same value. We can, we can play with that. It doesn't have to be the same. If we want to emphasize the pairs over here, we can leave that at 50. Um, so it really gives you all the freedom to create the style of the pie chart that, that you're after. Okay, what else do we have here? We have extrude. So let's just go back to the uh, main pie chart character. We can set an extrude right now. If we have a look at our, if we just change the angle here, we have a 2D pie chart. All right, we can make this 3D by going to the extrude property over here. I don't know, let's set this to a value of, say, for example, uh, 100. And now you can see we have this, so we have this circular uh, pie chart in 3D. And we can um, also change the bevel, for example. Right now you can see it's pretty, it's a very uh, rough edge over there. Let's bring this up to 20, a bit too much. Let's bring it down to 10. I think maybe even five will do. Okay, so now we have this nice bevel uh, around our, the edges of our shape. And we can set this individually, like we did with the, um, the, the whole of, the, of segment three. We also have extrude and bevel values here. So if we wanted to bevel this one slightly more, we can bring that up. Okay, and that's just only gonna affect that one segment and not the rest of the pie chart. Okay, so the other thing that I wanna show in here is that we can also, all these properties are animated, so, or animatable, should we say. Um, what I can do, let me just zoom out here a bit. Okay, so say we're talking about the pairs because we've already highlighted it here, uh, and when we, we wanna animate this out, um, if we go to this pie chart segment, it actually has this center offset value. And if we increase this, let's bring it up to about 10, you know, a bit maybe more 50, right? We can really push that um, section or that segment of the pie chart out. Again, still everything works. Let's go back to segment one and we set the value to 33. So it's still gonna move with it. Uh, everything still works nicely. And if we get the segment three and we play with this value over here, right, we're up pretty quick. So let's set this value to 50, okay? or let's bring it down to 40, 40, uh, 35. Okay, you can see that it still renders uh, correctly and is, it has a relation to the other segments in the pie chart. Okay, and the cool thing is because we can set these values, we can also animate them. So let's go ahead and create a quick uh, example of this. If I just grab a level sequence over here and let's open that up, 
now we can see that we, these are key frameable, all these properties. So our center offset was set to 50. Let's bring this back to zero and let's create a key point in our sequencer over here. Let's uh, jump forward in our sequence and let's set the center offset to back to 50. Okay, so now we can animate this section uh, very nicely. So this can be used for a wide variety uh, of ideas inside your game. You want to show statistics or in broadcast or virtual productions, you want to show data visualization. Um, this tool can be extremely helpful for that. Okay, so we have that animation we've covered as well. Just a few other uh, points here, uh, just was within our other plugins, like the primitive plugins. We have different materials for the different sections of the uh, mesh uh, or the actor that's actually rendered here or created. So for example, uh, let's go back to our content browser. Say we wanted a different shade of blue. Let's just create a new, let's call this M blue one, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Oh, let's just bring it in over here. Let's slightly change this blue something a bit darker and I'll just apply and save that and we have this uh, the inner extrude I might want that to be a little bit darker so I can go ahead and drag that on so now we have this see this we have this we can have different materials on different sections of the pie chart it just gives you artistic freedom uh, to design uh, whatever element is that you want so I think that covers the uh, the pie chart plugin. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, find us on Facebook or to email us email us email us at info.erizos.tv. Thanks for watching.